Welcome back, welcome back to our Bible study inspiration brought to you by JEOP Evangelistic Outreach Project. Are you ready for your weekly dose of encouragement? You know what? I know you're ready because you are here. You are ready to study God's Word. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? I need you to meditate. Yes, you're going to meditate in the Word of God. We must breathe, exhale, recite, and rejoice in the Word of God. Come on, get your word, get your word as we begin to look at Psalms 121, Psalms 103, Psalms 34, and Matthew. Yes, we're going to end up in Matthew chapter 6. Yes, Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 5. Come on now, we are ready now to meditate in the Word of God. Legacy Generation, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready to to hear the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Legacy Generation is ready. So are you ready out there? Come on now. Get your word. Turn with me now to Psalms 121. Amen. Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. Verse 8. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punish us according to our iniquities. Verse 11, for as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. Verse 15. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. And the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. Verse 17, but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Verse 20, bless the Lord, you his angels, who exceed in strength, 
who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his host, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Verse 22, bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers them. Verse 8. Oh, taste and see <laughs> that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lion like and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not like any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, who is the man who desires life and loves many days, that he may see good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. Verse 18, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contract spirit. Verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. The model prayer, Matthew 6, starting at verse 5. And it reads, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by men. For surely I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Verse 7, and when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Verse 8, therefore do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. Verse 9, in this manner therefore pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Are you smiling? Are you smiling? A smile goes a long way. Share our Bible study with others. See you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next week. Amen. 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 God bless you.